Okay, YouTubers and space detectives, this is Joe from Art Alien TV and ArtAlien.tv. Check out my new website in the description. There's a link. There'll be links to all these images as well. You can check them out. You can download them yourself. You can do your own clips. They're all genuine satellite images taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Uh, it was an image that someone posted on Facebook, I think, a few years ago. And I can't remember who it was. I've got no record of who it was. I obviously, I obviously downloaded the image, but didn't save the person's name or, or anything. There's no name on it. So I've got no way of knowing who did it. I've got a feeling it was one of our main researchers who comes on all the Mars groups. Um, I, can't, I can't tell you which person, but I've got a feeling it's one of a few people that may have put this up who specialize in satellite images. And... Uh, if you're that person, please let me know, and I'll put a credit in the video description below and everything else. This is one of those things that gets posted on our groups, and often people don't put names on things, so you don't know who did it, when, or anything, okay? No date or anything. This is a very large complex. I'm calling it a complex because I don't think it's a single structure. Now, this one on the uh, right here is an image from, I think, Iran or Iraq, or somewhere like that. I don't know where this is from, but it's somewhere in the desert in that part of the world where there are lots of ziggurat structures and pyramids and, and uh, complexes which are very ancient indeed. They go back many thousands of years, okay? And this one is on Mars, obviously, right? And I'll just show you this on the left. Here's the, the basic clip here, right? And here is a clip with some outlines on it that the person's done really well, actually, showing the actual symmetry here. This thing is perfectly rectangular, okay? Now, it would be even more rectangular had the satellite taken the image at a perfect angle, which it hasn't. So there is some image distortion here because this was taken at a certain angle, meaning we're not looking directly down on it, we're at a slight angle looking down on it, so the shape is slightly distorted, okay? It's just called Meso Margins, and it just says theme, Aeolian processes, right? Now, this is typical of NASA. When there's a really interesting image, they file it away, give it a very inane and boring name, so that it will just be forgotten about, okay? They very rarely give us explanations or proper titles for the really interesting images. Normally they will tuck them away and they get lost in the absolute huge archives that NASA has. Unless someone like me or you or any other researcher or person finds it, okay? I mean, they don't, they don't actually hide the images. What they do is they, they, they stick them on the website and it's fairly unlikely that anyone's going to find it because there's so many images. And uh, this is an example of that. There's no explanation, nothing. And this is very large. Now, before I move this, I'm going to show you the negative of it here. And this corresponds exactly to this, okay? And I've lined them up for you as well as I can to show the difference when you look at it in negative. Now, what I'll do is I'll get rid of these lines here, right? And you can really see there's an inner, inner rectangular area here. I'm calling this a complex, uh, like an alien complex or something. It's not a pyramid. It's way too big to be a pyramid because when you actually see the size of it, this is 500 meters, right? So this part alone here is over half a kilometer from here to here, this part, just here, this corner, or this corner here. It, this is absolutely huge, right? It's a, a, around three kilometers across from corner to corner, okay? And there is a bit of distortion, like I said. Now, when you look on the actual page, it will tell you the angle, emission angle, 2.5%. So. And it's the phase angle is 54.7 uh, degrees. So it's not quite looking directly down, and there's a phase angle as well. So we're looking kind of down, but at a sort of slight angle, which means that the, the shape of the structure on the ground 
is slightly elongated and slightly distorted. Okay, that's perfectly normal for a satellite image. That's usually the case. They very rarely take pictures exactly straight down onto something. They're usually at a slight angle looking down towards the planet's surface at an angle. And often you get better detail and uh, more sh kind of um, height information in the structure on the ground, okay? And that's what we've got here. So I've lined these up really carefully. Here's the, the normal one, which has just got added contrast. And I flip that one to negative. And you can actually see that there's what seems to be a moat here going around the outside. We've got a very thick, huge kind of rampart area here, right? And we've got an inner rectangular area with lots of interesting things in it, some of which I'm sure are ruined structures. So, okay, so let's flip from that one to that one again. Let's compare. Now, there's a lot of things you can see in, in the uh, negative one here, which you can't see very well in the normal one, but we'll look at the normal one first. And I'll just point out a few of these things. We have, if you look carefully, you can see the outer kind of walled or the, the sort of sloping kind of outer armoured part here is extremely wide. And if you if I measure this, I'll go right back. I mean, this is insane. I can't zoom out anymore, right? And it's two kilometres from that corner to there, and it's probably about another one and a half. So it's about three and a half kilometres from corner to corner, okay? So it's about three and a half thousand metres from here to here, give or take a few metres, okay? It's absolutely massive. And you can actually see, if you look carefully, you can see here there's a, a rectangular structure here, right? There's one there. There's a whole bunch of smaller structures here, a lot of them are natural, right? And there's craters in the ground and all sorts of stuff. And a lot of this stuff is a bit hard to work out. You can see that there's something really interesting going on in here. Okay, with what look like ruins and uh, buried structures and foundations of destroyed structures. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. And we've got quite a squarish one here, but it's a lot better to look at these things in the negative one because this will show you um, some of these in a lot better detail because I've highlighted it nicely. I've got the, the contrast just right. And you can actually see that there's one here. What I'll do. There's one here, right? There's a structure there. So there's that one, which is a kind of L shape, a weird L shape. There's another one here, which is kind of rectangular, but it's got this part here, right? So you can see those. And then I'll zoom out. There's another smaller structure over here somewhere. Hang on, where is it? Oh no, there's one here, okay. So I'll go back in a bit, a bit closer. You can actually see that these are angled. We've got a, a rectangle with another rectangle and another rectangle and an internal rectangle here. But this is, looks like it's been hit from above by munitions, okay? I'm not gonna say certain words because they're not, probably not, I'll probably get into trouble for using certain words, right? But this looks like it's been hit from above in a raid where large munitions were dropped on it, probably from an aircraft or something, and there's loads and loads of craters, okay, all around this thing, like it's been targeted, okay? I'm being very careful how I say this. you have got to be careful these days. So there's that one. So we've got a, a rectangle with another kind of rectangular kind of polygon shape here, but if you look carefully, there's actually a rectangle right inside it there, okay? You can see one here, but there's either a crater or another one there. But you've got rectangles within rectangles, and that does not happen in nature. So we've got a large rectangular inner part with a large rectangular outer part, which is a bit rounded off, it's eroded away. This was probably initially a natural structure, it seems, that's been modified because we have this other part to it down here, right? just here, and it looks like this has all been kind of leveled out and, and carved into or, or dug into, and natural structures were modified into 
a kind of armoured compound here. That's what it looks like to me. But we've got multiple structures. And then when I do this, you can see that we have nice straight edges. We have this thick walled area or armoured part of the compound, which is like a huge rampart sloping right up. Now, how high is this? I don't know. I would say this is pretty high up. So the, the, the height of this here, this corner, I would say was probably one or 200 feet or possibly more higher than this bit here. So this comes right up. It's impossible to say exactly how much, but it looks like it slopes quite a long way. So this could be as much as 300 feet in height from here to here. But width wise, obviously, it's very, very wide. This is over 500 meters from this point here to this point here. OK, you can see the, the marker here or the, the measure, I should say, the ruler. So that's huge. And then we've got this kind of more complex shape here coming round to here. And we've got the inner structures here. Now, this seems to be a structure here because we've got a rectangular kind of shape there on the edge of this thing. So there's all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. And um, there's even a little square building here. You can actually see a perfectly square building in negative. But when you look at it in the normal one here, that's really hard to see. You can see it, but it's not as easily spotted. It's just there. But when you look at it in negative, it really stands out. So we have a square building there, right? And it seems to have a rectangular structure inside it, right? Like that other one did. We've got a rectangle just there. You can see the edges to it. This also looks like it's been hit. Targeted, because we got what looks like a crater right there. I could be wrong, that may actually be a little tower or something here. That looks like a crater actually. So. There's a crater here and one here, so this looks like it's actually been targeted and two things have gone off right next to it, one on each corner there. So you can actually work out when you look at this one what's going on because th th this obviously isn't negative, so we're actually seeing the shadows as they're supposed to be. But it's pretty innocuous that you don't really notice it until you look at it in negative and there's loads of crazy stuff here. Now a lot of it is natural of course because this looks like it was dug into the side of a sort of mountainous structure, but I don't think this whole thing is natural because not only that, we have what looks like a, a trench around the outside here, which looks like a moat or river, which would have come round here as well, perhaps. Okay, so this was possibly like a castle or, or a fortress, like a fortress city even. And these are just the larger structures we're seeing here. And there's probably loads and loads of buried small structures in here, in the ground, inside the compound, here. Okay? Now, I've already marked the large ones. These are quite large. I mean, this this one here is over 100 metres. This one, this squarish one here is about 100 metres wide. So they're pretty big. If there were people living here, it's highly likely that they were living in these or under them. As I've said before and shown before, many of the structures we see on Mars are dug into the ground or into things like mountain sides and cliff edges and, and stuff like that. They're often dug into the ground. This could be like a huge bunker complex. And we have more craters here. Just here. So this part actually comes out like this. I've drawn it that way, but actually I think this kind of joins to that. And uh, there's multiple smaller structures here, which may have been buildings as well. Some of these things, like this here, may have been one here. So, I mean, you could go on and on and on looking at this, but what I would advise you to do is follow the links in the description and take a look yourself and uh, take some clips yourself and then play around with the contrast and see what you can bring out. There's also some interesting things further down here. There's like another crater sort of area with some weird sort of 
dome-like structures around it, which may be something. I'm not sure if these are or are not artificial, but there seems to be a wall here. And uh, a sort of rectangular kind of structure there, right? We, I haven't marked these. Let's go to this one and have a look at it in negative. Yeah, you can see that wall just there coming across and a structure here, right? So there's lots of weird and interesting things on the ground here. And a lot of these look rectangular. We've got a rectangular part to this one. This looks like a huge kind of complex here. And we've got some very suspiciously square craters, which I don't think are craters. They're actually just ruins. So check this out. Like I said, follow the links below. You'll find all this. If you want to download these images, you can come to the, the Gigapan page and simply go to the top here and click on this little link here. And this will take you to the original page, which is this one. Okay, so there it is. I think I'm going to call this a bunker complex or a fortress. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's not a pyramid. It's way too big to be a pyramid. Um, three and a half kilometers from corner to corner here, right? I mean, that's huge, three and a half thousand meters. Absolutely huge. So, well, what can I say? But the best thing you can do really is to check it out yourself and check these structures out and, and actually just look at the overall shape of the thing. It's absolutely massive. Uh, I'm a bit sort of um, shocked by it really, how big this thing is. It's absolutely huge, but it's not unlike some of the bunker or armoured structures that I've shown before on Mars. Some of them are massive, so they're, they're kind of like an armoured citadel or something like that. And there would be lots of smaller buildings in here which will, will be blown away. But the larger structures are still here, and there's probably a whole bunch of stuff buried in here, and probably under the ground as well. Okay, so thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. As I've said before, beware of the bogus channels that do not provide links and proper information. If they don't give you an image number or a link when you ask for it or provide it, okay, then they're probably bogus, okay? And there's a whole bunch of them. So beware of them. A lot of people saying they're fed up with all the fakery on, uh, on YouTube, all these fake Mars channels. Probably not as fed up as I am. I'm pretty fed up with it. So thanks for watching everybody, smash that like button, I will see you soon.